Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sea Dogs. Uh, last time, uh, I, at the end of the video, I showed me taking over Beltrop's modernized Man of War, and you'll be happy to know that I still have it. And, of course, we have that Class 4 Brig. I am keeping this Man of War for my first mate. That's kind of a, a little prize, a reward for being my first mate throughout the entire game. Um, but what we want to do now, we're supposed to find allies, uh, as Olsen told us. We should seek allies to help preserve our freedom. So what we need to do is we actually need to now go over to the English campaign, or not campaign, but to the, uh, we need an English letter of mark in order to get into an English colony. The pirate campaign is all about stabbing people in the back and going back and forth and just being all out fickle. So now that we have that, we're going to sail over to High Rock. And pretty soon we won't have to do all of this. Oh, damn it. We won't have to do all of this uh, switching sides. That's still a little bit away, though. I think we have to do it one more time before, before the end of things. It has been so long since we've been to High Rock, though, and actually been to it, not just taking it over. And, of course, we have to sail a little bit into it. Oh, there's a rock right there, though. That's mean. Thanks for being a dick game. If I didn't uh, move the camera around, I would have run right into it. Of course, one of the ships in the harbors. There we go. All right. So now that we are here, we need to find somebody. Guess where? Only one guess. That's all you get. That's right. The tavern. Um, well, okay, I don't remember ever seeing you here. He looks new, too. Like he, he looks like he looks different than everybody else. Wearing different clothes and everything. Probably not. What do you want, sir? Nothing especially. Just a pleasant talk. My name is Sharp. Perhaps you've heard of it. Damn, I certainly have. Are you Nicholas Sharp who has sunk more ships than has the whole British fleet? Damn right. Click, click it. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad to meet you. Do we have something? I need to take a drink. Nom, nom. Love tea. Oh, really? What? We are both criminals in the opinion of authorities. Let me tell you my story. So he was exiled here for revolutionary propaganda. A uh, decent judge. Sentence was commuted to exile. Since then, I've lived here in poverty and obscurity. I see what's going on in the world. Um, can I click on it? Thank you. I see those in power. Uh, da, da, da. So he is kind of depressing sounding. Perhaps you, your own attorney, Mr. McMillan, have you, you have a gilded tongue, but I do agree with much that you say. And what do you suggest is to be done about it? Suppose we could change everything here. You have the power, the pirates on, on Skull Shores. I've heard that some of them look for a peaceful life, but no way to accomplish this. For my part, I know some officers here who think the same as I do. Or as do I. We could turn this archipelago upside down. Why, Captain? We could create a community of order and fairness, and Eden, if you will, in the wilderness. That sounds awesome. Paradise is a tall order. Still, on the whole, I agree we should make this one a big this one big country run by just and fair rulers. Us, for example. But there are a few obstacles in our way. I hear the English want to take Skull Shores. If I don't stop them, they'll hang all of the pirates and leave us no navy at all. But how can I stop them? Plundering the English islands will just anger them, and we'd end up fighting the entire royal fleet. A ticklish problem. Oh my gosh, a ticklish problem. Holy shit, we don't want that. Perhaps I can be of some service. As I have said, I have friends among the English officers. Alright, um, let me consult with my friends, and we'll meet here again later. Well, I will be here then. Okay? Alright. So we have talked to Jeremy McMillan about possibly join or possibly teaming up, I guess, um, collaborating on creating a unified, peaceful archipelago. And since we've done that, we've found a potential ally. And so now we need to go back to Olsen and tell him about what we found. I don't 
know why I did that. No, we're we're not where I want to be. Damn it, game! You always do this to me. Load guns with bombs, oh, Captain. But uh, I guess we'll take on this little class four ship with two mana wars, and he's down. <laughs> Oh man, is is kind of fun to be a bully in this game. Speaking of bully, um, I remember I got that game for Christmas one year, and I played it for like two days, and I didn't, I hardly made any progress, and I haven't played it since, nor have I. Um, can I just get in Shark Island, please? Thank you. I haven't played it since, and I never made any more progress. So, I can't even find it at this point. Rigging, sails, timber. I know that was random, but we yeah, had to fill the time getting into the Shark Island. Oh my gosh, my mouse does this thing where it likes to double click, even though I'm only clicking once. It's I don't know what happens. I don't know if the mouse is just messed up or what, but see, it's ugh, it's really frustrating. All right, Olsen, we found some allies, or an ally. And, Captain, I found myself an ally. His name is McMillan, and he's a nobleman from England, and he's a professional revolutionary, interesting fellow. He, uh, There are not many revolutionary nobles that I'm aware of. Anyway, he wants our help to overthrow the English on High Rock, and he's not a fool either. All right, that's excellent. So, um... His, uh, what, hold on, let me start over. And damn if I don't have good news, too. We have a new captain in our brotherhood. His name is Philippe. He, Butcher Phil, his boys call him, and he's a true son of the sea. He proved himself worthy to be leader of Grey Cells. I think you should meet him. Ah, awesome. Why? Beats me. He told me he has some nerds, urgent news for you. All right, well, let's, let's hurry, hurry, let's hurry over there. Let's hurry over there and talk to this, uh, Butcher Phil Fine. guy. Let's go on the other side, though. And we are too far away. Okay. There we go. And so we just need to sail in there. Sail all up in there. We lost two crew somehow. Was that from that Class 4 ship? That little shitty Class 4 ship? It died in one shot. How did it take crew out? Oh, I guess that's something else I could point out. Um, when I took over, I, I'm sure you saw, but I guess I'll just point it out. When I took over the modernized Man of War and switched ships, I kind of split up the ammo between the two ships as well. Let's just see if we can refill that that crew. There we go. Up to 850. My OCD is satisfied. Into the town hall, and whoa! You look like my first mate. You're not even. You aren't even sitting in the chair. This looks weird. Butcher Phil. Finally, Captain Worthy, my company. I'm Butcher Phil, the scourge of the West Indies. Awesome. Well met, Butcher Phil. So, what's this tale? I heard that you want to build a whole new country, one that's against the crowns. In my book, that's a task worth seeing through. So we have another ally. Um. But the Spanish went to end the Brotherhood, and they are sending two line ships to blast this rock and all the ships that stand with the brothers. So he heard of it when he was en route to Tor Tortuga, and I made sail here as soon as... Okay. When are these ships due to arrive? Has my ship's been on anchor long enough for me to down five mugs of ale? I reckon they're almost here. We'll fight together then. Butcher Field joined to you. Sweet. We we're going to have us sales a glorious battle. The Klingons would be proud. Actually, they probably won't. We'll probably absolutely rape them. Because there are two ships, and we have, you know, two mana wars. And let's go out into the harbor. There they are. They're, like, physically in the harbor, though. Yep, two class two ships. I don't know where Butcher Phil... Oh, he's... He's a class 5 ship. That's terrible. I don't want that. He needs to go away. <laughs> Screw class 5 ships. What is that about? And I can't... There are too many ships to even get in the... Get a good shot on one of these. Ugh. 
There we go. Strike down. Aye, aye. Oh, I'm turning the wrong way. Sorry, I got quiet there. Alright, still an English ship is in the way. There we go. Butcher Phil and his class 5 ship, for whatever reason. Alright, one class 2 is down. The other is probably not far behind him. And there he goes. Butcher Phil leave you. He's sailing away. Where are you going, Butcher Phil? Oh, he's he's trying to shoot us because we're we're English and we're not pirate. Well, Butcher Phil, we just saved your freaking fleet or your all of our, the pirates from the Spanish there, so you kind of owe us a little bit, you know. We're the reason we're the reason that things are going so well for the pirates. And yet we still get attacked by all of them, of course. And that poor class four ship took a beating there. That's another reason I generally don't like people following me, um, in addition to them getting in the way during fights. Most of the people that follow you don't have good ships. They're, you know, class fours and fives. And that's also really annoying because they die easily. And my OCD doesn't like when allies die. Alright. Um, I don't think I need to be here, actually. I think I need to go to Great or Shark Island. But let's hit up the tavern here and hire some crew. Get back to... What is going on? Oh, there we go. It's, it looked weird. I, was, I think I was looking at the wrong thing. Alright, so yeah. Let me go talk to Butcher Phil, though, and see if he says anything. I don't know if he does or not. Alright, Butcher Phil. Help me out with another situation. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So I can just get him to sell with me. Well, that's cool. That's an interesting, interesting thing. Too bad he has a shitty ship, and I don't want him to sail with me. Ship ahoy, sir. Land ho. So, of course, we need to go back to Shark Island and talk to Olsen once again. Um, Make gotta sail. sail all the way Mark. there again. Ugh. This takes... It doesn't take a lot of time individually like one time you do it it doesn't take up that much time but this shit adds up you know you have to do this five or six times it, it begins to take quite a while any second any second it's gonna happen there we go let's go ahead and run back to the shipyard so we can repair all our stuff fix my ship repair it Repair it now. Repair the brig. I could tell that guy to leave. I, I did that uh, in the Spanish campaign, but, you know, he's another ship. Why not? We won't get attacked anyway. That's for true. Alright, Olsen. Oh, wait, I didn't... This is important. Damn me, I th that was the greatest battle I've ever seen. That was damn good work, Nick. It reminded me of the old days. Your father would be proud of you. Listen, Nick, it's time for me to leave this place, brother. Wow. Um, I'm too old for this business of building a new country. Ah, uh, but it did my heart good to help you get there. Maybe your father can rest easy now. Well, I'll leave this old island to you, Nick. Maybe you'll make it the capital of your new empire. You can name it Olsenberg. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. You know what I think I shall do? I shall go to England and buy myself a tavern where I shall spend the rest of my life drinking up my profits and telling lies to all the ladies. Very nice. You can't leave now, Olaf. I always thought you would be the leader of the new country. You're wise enough and crafty enough. That I will not do, Nick. I may have been good enough at ruling a gang of drunken outlaws, but... I know nothing about governing countries, and sure as hell, I'd make a great botch of it. 
And if you want my advice, Nikki, you shouldn't take that job either. Leave this business to your friend, McMillan. He is educated and will be able to speak to those fat kings and such back in Europe without making an ass of himself. And he knows how to get people to believe in his dreams. All right, I'm off. Make me a promise that you will come to my tavern one day and tell me how all this ended. Damn, Olsen, I will. Farewell. Thank you, lad, and Godspeed. And to you, my brother. And Olsen has now retired. We own Shark Island. This is our place. We run this house. He's gone from here, so we can just sit here and be Olsen ourselves. It'd be cool if people would come into the tavern. But yeah, we are now the ruler, the owner, the whatever of Shark Island. And uh, next time, we'll see what else we can do in the pirate campaign. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.